De Caribbean Girls 3D Hackathon was vorige week en de winnaars waren de Girl Code. We praten met Devika en Julie, namelijk de coach en de teamleider, en zij vertellen hoe het eraan toe is gegaan. Dag iedereen, vandaag praten we met Julie Sunder. Zij is de coach van de Surinaamse Codettes, Girl Code en Fusion Girls. En we praten ook met Devika Mahabir en zij is de teamleider van Fusion Girls. Ze deden mee met de Caribbean Hackathon for Girls. En vandaag gaan we hun een paar vragen daarover stellen. Kijk jullie mee. Julie praat Engels, dus we zullen overschakelen naar het Engels en naar het Nederlands. Hi Julie en Devika, welkom. Hallo. Hi. Hi. Oké, okay, so. Um, yeah, Julie, you created Farm Bodies with the team. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, um, Farm Bodies is a winning project for the first place winning team, um, the Girl Code. Farm Bodies is a body system, um, I IoT for agriculture system. Um, it consists of a sensor node and an actuator node. The sensor node is used to plug into like any farm any near any plant and it can monitor temperature, humidity, soil content, um, light intensity and the battery life. And it would communicate with the controller node to switch on, let's say for example, pumps to irrigate the soil, to fertilize your farm, to switch on lights and open doors, etc. And this project that they created, um, you can scale it up for small, medium and large scale farms. That was the project that the kids uh, Develop. Okay, very interesting. The girl, um, the girl code, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. And Devika, you made a project called with the team Gird Gear Tracks. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, gear Tracks is an Internet Internet of Things solution. It is a gear tracking and monitoring system. Uh, gear Tracks based on apparatus was flutters and an app and uh, flutters for fishnet and krabbekoya. Uh, via the app, can you the status from the flutters monitor and the status is in float, sleep, and underwater. And as the verbinding is verbroken, that can you the last location from your fishing gear to store find up, uh, up a dashboard. And uh, with this platform, can you all the fishing gears also register? And uh, with the QR code, the up, this up the flutter befind, uh, can you then scan and the eigenaar van a fishing gear find. Is dus handig voor vissers. Oké, okay, heel innovatief, heel interessant. Maar wat is Caribbean Girls, de virtual hackathon? En wat houdt het precies in? Want ik heb er nooit van gehoord. Dus zal ik jullie een beetje daarover vertellen? Julie? Yes, the um, Caribbean Girls Hackathon, was, it was the first time that we also heard of it, of it okay. um, my organization, yeah. Um, this competition was going on for about three months prior to the fact that we were re requested to submit two teams. Um, I heard this competition was actually um, held in country, so um, face to face, but because of the pandemic, they moved it over to a virtual hackathon. Um, this competition um, involved uh, 20 islands of uh, 100 teams and five students maximum per team, so 500 uh, students uh, in total. Mm -hmm. And we were asked one week before the first submission to submit two teams. And I would usually be like, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm responsible for my teams. But I said, ah, they can develop their skills further. So let's put them in this competition. And um, then we had two more weeks to actually develop an end-to-end -end prototype for the, for the competition. And the modality we selected was an animation video. So um, we had to build a full technical solution plus an integrated animation video within a period of actually one week. If I can go in more detail, it's because uh, we had two weeks to submit for the finals, but one, one entire week where we were building this technical solution until we realized one week in that it was the animation video that was <laughs> the modality and we had no skills in developing an animation video. So. Um, in a week, we've got all of that stuff together and, and we we submitted and it was good enough to bring oh. us first and second place. Wow, I would say it would be a big obstacle for your team, but you still made it. <laughs> and there we go, did yeah. you, you and your team, uh, did you and your team have any obstacles? Uh, what was your problem with your team that you came in the project? Um. Uh, it was echt een challenge om dus eigenlijk in een week alles te maken voor een animation video. Want dat is niet onze trend. Uh, we zijn meer IoT en technical bezig. 
En um, dus voor ons was dat niet echt een strijd, maar we hebben dus wel onze research gedaan en we hebben het met teamwork hebben we het dus toch behaald. Nou, heel mooi. En um, what does this win mean for you and your team, Julie? Um, what does it mean for us? It means that the work that we've been busy with already a year now is really good work. The fact that we were able to execute and, and come in first and second place in such a short period of time means that um, the work is good, you know, the, 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 but the, the students um, have been with us already because they came out from our training program. So we're heading in the right direction. Um, and that we stand a chance also in the Caribbean. Um, on top of that, like we are completely open and our goal is to ed um, educate women in innovation and ICT. So if you're in, if there's females and girls listening out there that would like to be part of our program and to maybe get um, these opportunities, just reach out to us at code.org.gmail.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, yeah, most of the social media um, sites, just reach out to us and yeah. And let's do this. Suriname stands a chance in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Okay, I'm sure there are a lot of young girls out there who are very intrigued and uh, who do want to join the team. But um, are there any more competitions planned for the future? There are always these competitions um, coming towards us because we, we heard about the Caribbean Girls Hackathon via RSC. Raj from the RSC, he runs um, these uh, robotics um, workshops throughout the Caribbean. So he relays these competitions to us and we scan our teams and see if they're capable and then we submit. Um, and there will be more opportunities um, coming um, in the future and we are fully prepared for that. And we are going to be prepared for that. Okay, great. Well, I love to hear that. Well, I was gonna ask mm -hmm. if um, girls are interested, how can they join? But you just gave that answer. So, um, do you have anything else to add to the interview? There we go, Julie. <coughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I just want to uh, stress that yes, come on board, and we want to have all these girls from. You don't have to have any background in ICT because I know most of their concerns is, oh, this is so high tech mm -hmm. and I don't know anything about ICT coding, digital fab, but understand that none of my students knew anything about ICT before they came into our program. Mm -hmm. um, just have a good mindset, be grateful and be willing to work really hard and you will get places, you know, and what's more important than just hard work and your skills is having a good attitude because having a good attitude and being able to work in a team is what brought us to where we are made us win because all the students in both teams had different skills and different strengths and we worked together to execute this project within such a short period of time so don't be afraid or intimidated i can and yeah just reach out to us at code.org at gmail.com we're on facebook youtube and twitter you can send us a message and we'll put you on the list for the next cycle um, we have three, three month cycles running um the inno starter which we teach introductions to electronics programming and digital fab and from there, you can go over to a longer one-year period um, program, so they can enroll in both. Okay, now, a really beautiful message. And I wanted to thank you for your work. I know you're inspiring a lot of girls out there, so keep it up, girls. <laughs> thank, thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank, thank you, you for thank your you. time and have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. you too. Nou, dat waren Derika en Julie, een heel interessant interview. Ik heb er zelf nog van gehoord. Maar lijkt dit jou ook leuk om te doen? Geef je dan zeker op en laten we samen Suriname op de kaart zetten. Bedankt voor het kijken. Doei!